a riddle. What's metal, 65 feet tall, and can hold 10.5 million gallons of water? It is this thing. You've probably seen it going up near Madison Pike in northern Kentucky. And if you're like WCPO 9 News reporter Andrew Rowan, you're probably wondering, what is this thing? So he stopped by the construction site today to find out. If you drive I-275 near Madison Pike, you might be wondering, what is this thing? A motorcycle cage? A roller coaster? What about an alien hangar? What actually is it? While those would be really fun, this is actually a equalization tank that we're using to store storm overflow. In other words, this tank will hold 10.5 million gallons of water utilized during heavy rain when sewer capacity gets overloaded. We're capturing all of that excess flow and pumping it up into this tank and storing it until our sewer has capacity again. To give you a sense of the scale of this project, look at the scale of the crane it took to lift every single piece of concrete slabs that are behind these metal facades. So all the scaffolding is gonna come out of the structure? That's correct. All that scaffolding is just to hold the roof up while they're doing the pour, the concrete pour of the actual dome roof. Crews Friday used high pressure air to clean the facade. Construction will be complete by September 2026. Without tanks like this, during heavy rain, sewers get overloaded, meaning wastewater can get into nearby creeks. Putting a public health risk in our communities. The creek is actually right behind this uh, wooded trees here. Megan Wilson um, lives near Pioneer Park, directly next to Banklick Creek. I'm definitely hoping it helps so that we can, you know, this neighborhood, so we can worry a little less when it, when it starts to rain. A reminder that what's just a giant silo as you drive by, is a watershed moment for the local community and the environment. We are going to eliminate all sanitary sewer overflows from the environment in our communities by the year 2040. In Fort Wright, Andrew Rowan, WCPO 9 News.